this is probably just gonna be a short little thing but i guess i just want to i suppose kind of teach less much less uh inspire and i guess in a way and this is more dedicated to i guess super egotistical or overconfidence i should say maybe streamers youtubers vtubers doesn't necessarily matter if you're an type if you're some type of influencer this relates to you especially if you are the type that likes to brag a lot about what you have and things like that in that type of nature essentially when it comes down to things i'm not gonna lie if you are that, that type of person that tries to be egotistical with their work and how they try to or how they try to like you know be super bragging about what they have and how what type of status that you got and all this type of stuff and who you know and whatever if you're one of those type of people i'm gonna be straight up honest with you and i'm just gonna say it flat out you're not gonna necessarily make it a lot in this entire influencer game you're, you're not and i'm just gonna be perfectly honest with you a lot of people that are now i ain't gonna say that there isn't anybody that's egotistical or overconfident that hasn't made it there are there is a lot of people but those very same people also the type of people that get canceled a lot of the time much less always have some type of nonsense going about them constantly have their name trending on twitter for some dumb reason or another you know there's always those type of people that runs around and you know might be making it but don't necessarily understand the position truthfully that they're in until it's either too late or they're just super blinded by whatever they're blinded by to be pretty much honest with you one of the things if you are a, one of the things i need to say if you are a small content creator or you're just a streamer that's super small or whatever straight up is that while you might get some crazy success and all this crazy stuff to happen you need to make sure that you're not going to go into an overconfident much less egotistical place it's, it's one of the things that you really shouldn't try to go to because it won't work for you in the long run or if it does it's going to come up with some baggage and it's not necessarily great now i'm not saying that you have that's the only way for you to get canceled or anything like that you get to do absolutely nothing and you can have a whole nother thing about you know not being egotistical and all that type of stuff and you can still be canceled and whatever but that is kind of mainly what i see a lot when it comes to youtubers vtubers and all that type of stuff is that a lot of them do become egotistical and they just do what they want and thinking they own the world when they don't necessarily own anything essentially as i said before many times ago without your audience you're not necessarily much of anything and that's something that a lot of content creators end up not necessarily realizing until you know things happen and that's the one thing i would like to see more smaller newer people coming through to try to do this end up realizing because again you you try to do whatever you want but the moment you try to you know get out of your role and try to be a little bit more over than what you're supposed to be then that's when things start to you know try to go back down and smack you in the face because that's just not how it is honestly and i know i sound like a whole ass parent right now but i'm just trying to tell you at least from what i've seen that that is the case honestly granted i don't know really what it's like to be ex ex exceptionally popular i don't know what it's like to be on iron mouse level i don't know what it's like to be on pokemon level i don't know any of that i've never achieved that in my entire life would like to achieve it but i don't know what it's like to have that level of success ever never in my life in days i j hopefully will know it but just at the current point in time i don't know but when it comes down to things the point is is that you just need to you know be in control of the situation and control yourself to know what is going on and you know pretty much hold yourself and be like okay this is what's happening and essentially i don't need to go way overboard and way out of my league when it comes to this type of stuff i've seen too many indie vtubers try to you know be above their means and you know do a bunch of things end up getting themselves clapped graduating or other type of stuff that you know ends up happening with a lot of indie vtubers and a lot of y'all can probably pick and choose which type of vtuber and which story y'all can 
you know, bring up and how that kind of goes. You know, it, it just is how it is. Really, a lot of even new YouTubers try to come through and try to copy what other YouTubers or influencers or other popular YouTubers do because they're just like, yeah, that worked for them. Let me try that for me. And that's the one thing personally for me, I don't necessarily like doing. I never really liked, obviously, being like everybody else and trying to, you know, be on their level because why should I? Like a lot of them are copying each other. Why not try to be different? Why do you think I don't necessarily mind talking about lollies half the time? Because, you know, it's different. Not everybody has the willingness in the, you know, balls to actually talk about it, much less be unbiased about it and actually go forth with it and try to see, you know, what's the actual truth here instead of relying on your feelings and how you feel uncomfortable about it. So, you know, I like doing the things I do for this channel and a lot of y'all appreciate it and that's absolutely nice. Because I'm gonna be honest with you, I try not to expect a lot of things out of this YouTube stuff. I try not to at this point because you don't know what's gonna happen. I could blow it tomorrow or even in the next hour, but I don't know if that's gonna happen or not. We, nothing is for sure on us, to be honest. But who can say, you know, one thing couldn't happen. As a content creator, I think it's important to, you know, stay within yourself and not to jump into a lane that you know you cannot cross over to. I remember one person commented, I think I talked to him a lot on Twitter. I'm not necessarily sure because I don't remember, but, and I don't even remember what video they commented this on. But I remember one person pointed out that I was being, I'm the type of person that seems really humble about things. And I ain't gonna lie, I don't necessarily see it personally. I don't. But a lot of people in my life has told me that. And I guess it's true. But again, personally, I don't necessarily see it. But it would explain a few things. But again, this ain't trying to be like on a bragging sort of sort of thing because honestly there's no necessarily necessarily a point to brag about things if i'm being honest with you but when it comes down to you know a lot of my life a lot of people has told me a lot of things and heck i was like i again i never really cared to be like you know everybody else but i've always wanted to try to try to do my own thing but never really be egotistical or overconfident about it because there is no point to doing that I remember even a lot of the times back when I used to go to church a lot of times, a lot of the pastors from those old churches were like, hey, you could be a really excellent pastor one of these days. And that's something they don't tell a lot of the people. Even some of the wisest people said that I could even be a pastor of my own church if I really wanted to. And for a while, I thought, yeah, maybe that is the case and maybe I could do it. Even now, I feel like maybe I still could probably probably do it. There ain't no, you know, way I can't turn back. I could. But I don't necessarily think that's the place where I should be at. Much less, a lot of people these days don't necessarily listen to, like, religion and stuff. Even though religion is half of what we learn. But still, I'll leave that for another time. But anyway, point is, when it comes down to it, a lot of people have told me that, you know, I'm a well mannered person and try not to you know do a lot of crazy things like everybody else does but that's only because again it's pretty normal for that to happen to someone and to be perfectly honest i don't necessarily care for normality as we previously discussed plenty of times over so personally when it comes to me in this whole youtuber thing i just try to do what i can i just try to make videos and that is interesting and you know, something that I would like to talk about and I think that would catch some interest for a lot of other people that would most, most likely agree with the content. And again, just have fun with it because there's nothing really else that is to this. Also, you gotta realize without your audience, you ain't shit. And also realize the status that you have. Basically, the respect that people have for you will carry you through and essentially that's the thing that will help you become one of the better content creators that exists honestly you can be better than any of the top people honestly as long as you know what you're doing and know what your status is and know what exactly you should be doing instead of you know what everybody else is doing if i'm being honest with you because again i didn't expect to have a very nice and beautiful and lovely community that i have a lot of you kohas i don't necessarily deserve because you know what I don't feel like I deserve you, if I'm being perfectly honest. But y'all through 
which but time and then time again y'all come through and show your support when i really don't again deserve any of it even though it's as far as some people as one as one person bought kokatsu for me so you know this whole vtuber thing for me right now is possible or having people to come through and take their time to you know talk to me and make videos with me alice or going as far as to buy me this konako statue because i wanted it but you know i didn't necessarily think i was going to get it much less i probably wasn't going to get it on my own because again i have other obligations with money that i need to solve here but t bush ended up buying this konako statue again t bush what the hell but please go follow t bush because that is an absolute mad lad so hopefully i'll receive that soon one of these days probably in a month maybe i don't know hopefully soon again throwing gifts in the description if you want to but again all this stuff i really don't necessarily deserve but i do appreciate that it is here and that it's something that you guys have given either it's your time or your money and not necessarily saying that in like a greedy way like hey hey give me your money hey, hey. not like not not like that but just saying it in a way that you know i appreciate pretty much the place where i am and understand the situation that we're in honestly i wish the situation was better on my points because you know i've always wanted to live a little decently i don't have to live in a super rich house or a super perfect environment but live in a place where i can be kind of all right and be all right for myself and don't necessarily have to worry about a lot of things like going to school because gosh i don't want to go back to school but definitely i would like to you know be in a decent place and then once i'm in that decent place help out everybody else that has helped me because why not and while some people might not necessarily believe when if you help someone then most likely the lord is going to give some blessings out to you because you gave generously and gave from the heart so that's pretty much how i believe that will go down for you as well it could be your time it could be your money it could be anything at all it could be literally the letter t if you're just needing to say the letter t it doesn't it doesn't necessarily matter something that you do that affects someone else's life in a positive way will most likely transfer some good things back to you because that's just how honestly it is and that's something i would just like to believe in but anyway when it comes down to all this if you're a content creator and you are someone that's egotistical just comment down and if you're someone new that's trying to start this and trying to do anything when it comes down to a lot of this stuff you know try to stay humble and try to you know better be better than a lot of the content creators that is egotistical and stuff like this because a lot of the time they have a lot of baggage that they don't want to necessarily deal with and it's not necessarily something fun that we all would you know want to deal with so you know just be the better youtuber that you can and just try to you know do things that would be fun for you and good for you instead of just following what everybody else is doing uh, pretty much that's the whole motive of this video but anyway pretty much that's what i wanted to talk about for this one so hopefully you'd enjoy i don't know if i'm going to edit this out or not actually maybe we'll see but well you know it, it, it the, mo the, whole, the whole point of this video is mainly more of the words than it is of the actual visuals because you know that's just how it is but yeah, pretty much that's what I want to talk about for this one. So hopefully you did enjoy. If you did, be sure to like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification on your way out. So also follow me on Patreon. Follow me on Patreon. Follow me on Twitter. And if you'd like to donate to the channel, Patreon is available as well. And yeah, until then, it's your boy Jay signing off. Have a blessed night.